do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drupal. <laughs> I chow we back here another big body banker. You feel me? Listen. Okay. Yeah, I know I love great looking females. So this is gonna be a very, very fun video for me to make. If you do not know what we're doing, I'll explain in a second. First, joy.com, I'll say about two third free of one love. Say something dollars. I'm gonna be releasing some new designs. I know I've been saying this for a while. Y'all can send me some suggestions if y'all have any. If y'all don't, it's cool because I still got some I got some ideas in my head. I got some heat in my head that I'm gonna put on my head. For you guys to see and want to put on your head, you feel me? That sentence could have been sus, but I don't think it was sus at all. So I think I think we're valid. But basically, I, I saw this on my sport page. Okay, on well, my recommended page. Um, y'all can DM me on Instagram at Juver underscore like some stuff to react to if y'all want me to. If not, it's cool. I, I, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I, 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 it's fine. I don't need you. But it would be cool for y'all to DM me because I don't really get that many DMs. I ain't go hold you. I'll be kind of lonely sometimes. But um, that's the size of the point. And I'm saying I found this. It popped up. It said the 10 most beautiful women of all time. I have great. Basically, I know when a female is attractive. Okay. Now, this is all preference wise. If I end up flaming one of these females, I probably will. Because people's preference in females is a lot different than mine. I like specific things. You know what I'm saying? So, um. If I say anything wild, it's all it's all it's all my opinion. You could suck my left nut, know what I'm saying? I'ma say the truth. If the truth hurts, then hey, take it like a champ, buddy. But everybody watch this. Hopefully you see some bad looking females, know what I'm saying? Well, the ten most beautiful women of they said of all time too. Didn't they just start making cameras like twenty years ago or something like that? Well, they probably started in like nineteen eighty or something. Alexa, when was the first camera made? was invented in 1839. 1839? What the f Who had a camera in 1839? So we gonna be seeing some baddies from 1839? I ain't, I, I ain't know. I could've sworn it was like 1980 or something like that. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. So, um, dang. Why'd I assume? Anyway, how did they have, what, they made cameras out of rocks in 19, I mean, 1830 or whatever he said? How you make cameras? Anyways, it don't matter. Um, we about to watch this. I got my handy day fruit snacks. I started eating some already, so I was, I was hungry. Okay. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's just get right into this. The music slap. That's my baby right there. They starting off right. They starting off. Right. They starting off right. Look, come on. I love me some Holly Berry. Holly Berry, Hallelujah. No, I'm saying she is beautiful, gorgeous, absolutely stunning. I love her. I'm gonna be rating all them too. I'm gonna rate them all. Now I'm saying y'all rate them as well in the comments down below. Y'all let me know if y'all find any of them attractive or ugly, whatever y'all think. Holly Berry getting a 15 out of 10 off rate. Catwoman, now I'm Most saying. beautiful women in the world of all time. Talk to me. We starting off slow. What is this? Alright, let me give her a chance. Number 10, Audrey Hepburn. Born May 4th, 1929 in Belgium, Audrey Hepburn lived a privileged life. Her father a banker, and her mother. Okay, this robot they got like doing the whole thing, like the commentary is boring me. It's really boring me. A Dutch Baroness, Audrey lived through the difficulties of World War II while she and her mother lived in London after Hitler ransacked the city. After the war, she attended ballet school on scholarship which led to a career as a model. She was discovered by a producer in 1948 in Europe without much success. She later went to America to find a more receptive audience. In 1953, her first movie for an American company... Ariana Grande. That's literally Ariana Grande. That is literally Ariana Grande. Looks just like her. When, when Ariana Grande sings that one song. And if you wanna see me, you gotta, 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 gotta get to love me hard. Whatever, whatever the heck that is, that's the face she be making. Wait a second, that is a face right there. That is a... That is a face doing something else. Never mind. She was Roman Holiday. It not only brought her fame, she won an Oscar for Best Actress. Number 9. Alright, we gonna rate this girl right here. What do we rate here? 
Me personally, I'm a six, a six, six point five, something. Like Oscar that. for best actor. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Dress. Number nine. This is the one girl from that one movie, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what movie it is, but Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow had a good foundation to prepare her for a life in show business. Both of her parents were in the business. Born in Los Angeles, on, California man. on September 27, 1972, Gwyneth or Gwynnie went to school at Ox Santa Barbara to study art history. She immediately... She's not attracted to me. She's not attracted to me. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. She's really not. Realized that her passion was acting. Her first movie was in 1991 with John Travolta in the film Shout. She received an Oscar nomination in 1999. She has cool eyes, but she's not attracted to me. Five out of ten. For the movie Shakespeare in Love, she had been considered for the leading lady role in Titanic. I don't see Gwenny's it. Gwenny's beauty can best be described. She is top ten beautiful women of all time in the entire world. She's in the top ten. As simple and graceful. I, she, I ain't roasting her. Not like. Not. I'm just saying, like my preference type stuff. Number eight. Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Okay, now. Let's watch the whole video first before I tell y'all what I, what I feel towards her. Lee, one of the most recognized faces in the world, Angelina Jolie is no stranger to the film industry. Yeah. Her father is actor John Voigt of oh, Midnight, Midnight Cowboy. Cowboy and Deliverance fame. Yeah. Born in Los Angeles, California to Marceline Bertrand on June 4, 1975, Edge, as she is often known as. Studied acting at the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute by age 11. Bro, this For commentator is so freaking boring! Highly boring. It's a robot. I could commentate. I'm commentating from now on. I'm gonna read all the subtitles. I'm muting her. Wait, hold on. Good looks can probably, probably be, be attributed to her ancestry in French Canadian. Her versatility as an actress, along with her beauty, makes her one of the most sought after actors. <laughs> okay, buddies, what are we rating her? Angelina Jolie, me personally, uh, she's, she's, she's not ugly. Okay, Angelina Jolie is not ugly at all. But what I rate her on, a, on a, honestly, like an 8.2. 8.2, she's not ugly, but she's still not what I consider like a baddie. No, she's not like a, yes. Maybe it's because her lips is nice and full. Well, in this picture, they don't look full. But in the other picture, they look kind of full. I like, I like lips. I like lips. I like lips. But um, what's it called? Yeah, maybe that's why I find her like, attractive and stuff like that. She had like an 8.2, 8.3, something like that. She cool. She cool. She cool. She cool. All right, let me get the rest of the... I need to commentate more. I got to sing. Charles, Ch Charles, her Theron, growing up in a farm on South Africa, she, her is an only child. She was born on August 7th. Shout out my Leos. Shout out my Leos. Know what I'm saying? Represent. She was born on August 7th, 1975, to German and French parents. At the age of 16, Charlie won a modeling contest. I would, honestly, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I have not been looking at the picture. I've been looking at, I've been looking at like, I mean, I've been looking at the words, not the picture. And it kind of sounds bad with no music in the background. So Anthony, throw some music in the background while I commentate this. I right, appreciate that. Oh, say less. <laughs> in her home in Europe to work as a model. In 1994, her mother, Gerald Theron, got her a one-way ticket to Los Angeles. An agent gave her his business card. And during one of her jaunts to a... a and that was the start of something good for her. Great, actually. Later, she starred in movies like Hollywood Confidential, Mighty Joe Young Cider House Rules, Italian Job Monster, and the other movie. Come on. Music, music, music. Wait, that was it? Honestly, I didn't look at her face the whole time. Let's rate her right here. What are we thinking? What y'all thinking? Let me look at all the other pictures. She looked regular to me. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Not attractive. She's a she's a regular degula. I'm not really a, her titties is out. Her titties is out, which brought her rating up a little bit. But she 
she's not wearing nothing here. She brought her rating up a little bit more too. She loves exposing her titties. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be honest right now. I'm gonna be honest. She's getting like a, she's getting like a seven. She's getting like a seven, I don't know. I'm just not attracted to her like that. She's okay. She's not butt ugly, but she's not, she's not, if I saw her walking down the street, I wouldn't look twice. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Nicole Kidman. She looks creepy. She looks scary. Imagine you sleeping one day, right? A light turns on. She's looking at you like this. What you doing? Screaming, right? You ain't screaming in happiness or joy. You're screaming because she's scared. And she looks like she's about to eat you. She looks like she's about to lick your chest with a knife before she pierces it with a spoon. Exactly. Born of Australian parents in Honolulu, Hawaii, Nicole Kidman is known to be one of the top imports from Australia to Hollywood. She is best known for films such as Days of Thunder Far Away and that other movie right there and Eyes Wide Shut just to name a few. Like most actresses of her time, her first love is ballet. She later learned my, my what, what? Growing up, she used acting as an escape. She won an Australian Film Institute award in 1967 in the miniseries Vietnam. This elegant redhead is all about family. What is that? That looks like a. Never mind. I don't want to flame people, but boy, if you don't get, <laughs> she not, she not, not attract. She's not attractive. She's not. She's not. She's how is she top ten most beautiful women? Of, who made this list? Who made this? If I don't see no big booty thotty in this, obviously some some weirdo made this freaking thing. I don't see. I ain't seen no big booty thotties yet. How is this beautiful? I ain't seen no freaking um. Who's beautiful to me? I ain't seen your mother. I ain't seen your auntie. I ain't seen your grandma like type stuff. Like who is this? Who is this? Her hair flowing though, but she looking kind of, kind of strong. You feel me? Going up in Australia, current events would be the topic of discussion at their dinner table. Halle Berry, hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. I love you, girl. I'll never stop loving you, girl. You feel me? Look at her. She's beautiful, gorgeous, outstanding, magnificent. Uh, I'll lick your nose right now, lady. Yo, cheekbones is nice and prominent, strong. We do love to see it. We do love to see it, Halle Berry. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise your Lord. Thank you, Father. <sighs> A former Miss Teen All-American winner in 1985. Look at her! Gorgeous. She has that natural type of beauty. Look at the smile, bro. Look at the smile, man. Bro, she is so pretty. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gassing. She is so she is so pretty. Look at her. Look at her. Gorgeous. And in 1960, in 1986, was first runner up in the Miss USA con contest. She look at my mom right here. My mom literally has a picture that looks exactly like this. I don't know why I'm opening my phone as if I have the picture on my thing. It's, she, my mom literally has a picture that looks just like this. She low key looked like my mama. That's tough. Holly Berry was born in Cleveland, Ohio in August 4th. She's a Leo titties! <laughs> <laughs> She's a Leo. I like that. I'm a Leo too. We'll be perfect for each other, Miss Holly Berry. I like this picture. I do like this picture. Love this picture actually. Holly Berry was born in Cleveland, Ohio, August 14, 1966. She's not even that much older than me. Holly Berry was, oh, she gets her good looks from her African American father, Jerome Berry, and Caucasian mother, Judah. She's she's mixed? What's, what's her mother look? I didn't know she was mixed. I thought she was fully fully black. I don't know. Let me, let me search up her mother right now. Caucasian mother, Holly Berry, mom. Images. Yo, Anthony, throw up a picture of Holly Berry's mom on here so they can see it. That's her mama? Where'd she get her looks from? Her mama. Her mama. Her mama. She didn't get her mama looks. She did not. She didn't. It's okay, Holly Berry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
After the Miss USA pageant in 1968 or 86, Holly became a model. Y'all gonna think I'm dyslexic, so I keep saying the numbers wrong. I just be reading too. Maybe I am dyslexic. What the heck? I don't freaking know. That led to a role in 1989 in Living Dolls. She is best known for her role as Storm in X-Men. Yes, because you blew me away. Holly Berry, how beautiful. Look at you. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I loved you in Storm. You look beautiful in Storm. As Storm, sorry. In X-Men. And the star in rolling Catwoman. I told y'all Catwoman. I want to find a picture of her and Catwoman now. Anthony, throw up a picture of Catwoman on the screen so they can see this. So they can see this with me. Because beauty. Beauty. Ooh. Ooh. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. Like, come on. Like, come on, man. Y'all don't see it, but Anthony, Anthony, show that, man. It look good. She looks great. I can't even plug my phone back in. Love you, Holly Berry. Yeah. She was even Isaac for a role in Monster Ball. Come on, come on. Come on, Holly. Come on, Holly. That's it. Now, what, the, what is this? What is this? How we went from Holly Berry to, to this? shouldn't be laughing, but how is she top 10 most beautiful women of all time? How? Juliet Bonocci, ben Bonocci, Bonocci, you not, you, I was, I was about to say you're not ugly, but like, I'm not trying to be mean, but like, how you go from the Holly, alright, let's finish this, man, maybe she got better pictures or something, I don't freaking know, they should not have used that first picture. J Juliet was born in Paris, France in March 1964. Roger Elbert of Siskel and Ed what? Once spoke of the beauty of Ju Juliet as almost ethereal in her beauty and innocence. Ethereal? How you say that word? Now I freaking know. Yuck. He's simping. That's how he explained her? He's simping. Biggest simp of 1986, whatever the heck it was. Her movie career are few and far between one another. Among her most memorable, fil memorable films include The English Patient and Chocolate, she for which she won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Come on. She's, she's like, she ain't, she ain't it, Chief. She's not. I don't, what is this picture? Her eyes not open. Why her hair cover her face? They thought this was fire? The photographer thought this was fire? All right, let's rate that. What was that other girl's rating? The one just right now. Four. Grace Kelly. Let's see what you're talking about. Got that slick back. Princess Grace, as she would later be known later, after her Hollywood stint was a, was a, a Oscar a, a, and the Golden Globe Award. Grace Kelly began her acting career through theatrical productions in New York at the age of 20 in 1950. She won an Oscar for the movie The Country Girl. Her beauty can be described as royal elegance. This is royal elegance? Is that what we describe royal elegance? Alexa, what does royal elegance mean? Hmm, I don't know that. I don't know that either, Alexa. <sighs> this became true later in her life. While filming in the French Rivera, she met Prince Renard, whatever the heck his name is, following year in 1956, they married. She became the queen. She retired from being an actress at the age of 26. Dang, how you retire at 26? That's that's beautiful. Yeah, we can get married. You attractive. You sexy. You really sexy. Give me your money. Um, I became a full-time princess. You could be my full-time princess. Give me your money. Give me your money. Okay. What is this? My, we, what, what are we reading that? Oh, the girl right here, the princess girl. Yeah, straight 20 out of 10. I love her because she got money. Give me money. Give me money. Monica Bellucci. <laughs> Bellucci with the booty. <laughs> Italian born actress Monica Bellucci did not start out in show business. She was intent on pursuing life in the legal profession. As most students, she needed to earn money. So, what she did, OnlyFans? Because this is where y'all got this picture from OnlyFans. She needed to make money. How desperate was she? How desperate was Miss Bellucci with the booty? Huh? Huh? Okay, to get through school, she so to get through school, and so she got into modeling, <laughs> nude modeling, OnlyFans. You know I'm saying she got involved with the fashion industry full time in 1988. She has not had a clothed picture yet. She was on OnlyFans before OnlyFans had a fan. She, look at this, 
Look at this. She's not ugly though. Maybe it's because she's naked in every picture. I don't freaking know. Uh, the world's top fashion models among her American film credits include Bram Stoker, Dracula, and Matrix, Reloaded, and Revolutions. Perhaps her most memorable, memorable was the Mary Magdalene and the Passion of the Christ. <laughs> get down, Leo. Come on, man. All right, we'll be rating that person. We're going to get that. We're going to give her. We're going to give her a calm. This picture fire. The rest of the pictures suck. Yeah, this picture fire. I like this picture. So let's go off this picture. This picture will get a. We go, she gonna get a solid 7.9. 7.9 right here. She don't get that 8, but she got that 7.9. I'm saying. All right. Let's see the next person. Where is that? Right here. Natalie Ambrugilia. Growing up in a small beach called. Berkeley in New Well Australia, Natalie Jane began dancing at the age of two. She was enrolled in a special school and was dancing six days a week, while the rest of the time she was surfing. She was one of the many Australian well-known actresses. She was named as one of the most naturally beautiful women in the world in 2004. This was naturally beautiful, one of the most naturally beautiful. This is the most Naturally beautiful. This list sucks. I ain't gonna hold on. These are these people's not ugly, but these not definitely not top ten most beautiful women of all time. They not. I tell y'all, they not. Do you agree that these are the most? If y'all agree, if everybody else agrees that these are the most beautiful women of all time, maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong. Y'all let me know in the comments. Um. Yeah. And we're as you can see, it is difficult to refute that claim. It's it's not that difficult. It's it's not that difficult to go against that claim. It's not. She's not that she's not ugly, but it's not that difficult to say she's the best looking or she's not the best naturally beautiful girl in the world. Natalie is also an award winning singer and writer, which has garnered her recognition in the music industry, both in Australia and the United States. <sighs> Come on. That's it. What are we rating her? <sighs> she this picture right here is probably the best one. Um I mean, it's 7.5. I ain't rocking with none of these females. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Is this the end of the video? It's on Winning me. singer and writer, which has gone. I was a way own. better commentator than this freaking Android Siri wannabe. Ignition in the music industry, both in Australia and the United States. Okay. That's it. I just ended the video. Hey, man. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think like they was. Y'all think it was like t the top 10 most beautiful women of all time? Heck no! Heavens no! Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Was I being mean on the ratings? Y'all y'all could be honest with me. Was I being lean, mean? I don't think I was. I think I was being honest. But hey, that's the end of the video. If y'all excited for more reaction videos, like the video right now. And um, yeah, see y'all in the next little uh, video. I'm going to see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through